In this video, I'll show you how to fix a touchpad that isn't working or seems unresponsive. These suggestions should be used if the touchpad isn't working at all, meaning the cursor won't even move. If you can move your cursor but you're having other problems with your touchpad, you should check the touchpad settings explained in another video. If changing the settings doesn't help, you may want to come back to try these suggestions. First, let's make sure your touchpad's enabled. There are a few different ways to do this depending on your laptop. Your laptop might have a touchpad button between the touchpad and keyboard. If you see this button, try pressing it. Similarly, you might see a touchpad picture on the F9 key. If so, try holding Fn and tapping F9 to enable the touchpad. Or, you could also see the touchpad picture on the F5 key. If you see it there, try tapping the F5 key. If that doesn't work, try holding Fn and tapping F5. If the touchpad still isn't working, we'll try reinstalling the driver. Open your web browser and go to support.toshiba.com slash drivers. Type your serial number into the search box and press go. Under filter by, select touchpad and also select the version of Windows operating system you're using. Most newer Toshiba laptops use the 64-bit version of Windows. If you've upgraded your operating system and your current one isn't listed, select the most recent version with the same bitness. For example, I'm using Windows 8 64-bit. I don't see that, so I'm picking Windows 7 64-bit. Select the topmost touchpad driver. Now click the Download button to save it to your computer. Depending on your web browser and browser settings, you may see a Save As window. If so, choose a location to download the file. Once the file is downloaded, navigate to it on your hard drive and double-click it to begin the installation. Follow the prompts and instructions to continue. When installation is finished, restart your computer and try your touchpad. If the touchpad still doesn't work, there's one more thing to try. Shut down your computer, remove all accessories, and unplug all cables. This includes USB sticks, SD cards, and the power cable. If your laptop has a user removable battery, remove the battery. Now, hold the power button for 30 seconds, then reconnect the power, turn on the laptop, and try the touchpad again. You should now have a basic understanding of the steps to troubleshoot a touchpad that isn't working. For more information, visit support.toshiba.com.